Hi guys, and welcome to Hair Mineral Analysis for Health Practitioners. This is a very quick hair analysis in action video to help you understand how many insights you can gain from a very, very quick look at your patient's hair mineral um, test. So here we have a very typical hair mineral analysis for 16 year old boy presenting with anxiety and depression. He's been bullied at school. He has very poor concentration, he's been given ADHD diagnosis, uh, his parents are at wit's end about what to do with him, he usually craves sugar and carbs, and his diet is not that great currently. So, 10 insights that you can gain very quickly by just glancing at this report. Number one, his calcium to magnesium level is extremely high, so you can see that discrepancy right on the chart. He's very magnesium deficient, which is going to ruin his concentration, it's going to affect his mood, it's going to affect his blood sugar balance and sugar cravings. The second insight you can see is that his calcium level compared to phosphorus is very high as well. That is going to tell you a lot about his energy production. So right away you can see he's going to be tired, he's going to be running very slow, no motivation for exercise in this boy. He's Number three, sodium and potassium are both very low. So this is adrenal burnout. Um, he's been stressed for quite some time and his adrenals are really suffering. He's in fight or flight state at the moment, which is because his sodium is actually slightly higher than his potassium. So that ratio is off. That's your fight and flight ratio. Number five, his calcium compared to potassium is very high. So that's going to tell you that his thyroid is running slowly, which has actually been confirmed by his blood. So all the thyroid associated symptoms, depression, fatigue, slow bowels, they're all going to be there. Number six, he has extreme copper toxicity. And we mean extreme. So top of the chart for copper is 5.5. His level is 19.7. So it's four times the chart. So this poor boy has accumulated a really large amount of copper. That's going to affect his mood and his functioning in every aspect. He has a very low zinc level compared to that copper. As we know, zinc is very important for mood, immune system, gut health, every aspect of health. So his gut is obviously going to be out of balance as well. This will prompt you to probably test him for pyroluria like I have, and he did come up with a very high score. So that's something that would explain a lot of his ADHD and his mood. Number eight, he has very high manganese and chromium. So both manganese and chromium are responsible for blood sugar regulation. When they're both up like this, it's telling you that he is not handling his carbs or sugars. That's something we have to address. Number nine, his copper is going to be blocking his iron. So you can see that copper to iron relationship. It's going to be pretty much anemic, even if his iron blood look okay, because copper is going to be blocking its use. So all the fatigue and mood associated symptoms, as well as sleep, that's going to be affected. You can see number 10 insight. He has some heavy metals here, and this is probably not all that he has. They often are hidden on the first hair analysis. Um, especially when someone's thyroid function and adrenal function are affected like this, they're not going to be detoxifying heavy metals. Right away you can see there's some lead, um, which in combination with copper, you know is probably coming from your drinking water. So that needs to be addressed ASAP. And the 11th bonus insight on this analysis is that his lithium level is very low. Low lithium has been linked with depression and mood disorders and also poor B12 utilisation. So I hope you can see how quick and easy it is to break down someone's health like this um, and give you a lot of understanding about addressing every factor of this. So in the course, we're going to be delving into every aspect um, of what I've discussed and so much more. I hope to see you there.